quickly. So to find the y-intercept, this is probably one of the easier questions also you guys need to look at. So to find the y-intercept, all you need to understand is the y-intercept, the x value is equal to 0. So to find the y-intercept, I just set Very much. So you end up just getting y equals negative 1. Okay? It does. It is going to equal it. I just need to understand, not always, that's when it's in standard form. Sometimes you're going to be dealing with different forms and all kind of stuff. Things can change, okay? But I want you guys just to understand that, yes, you, just plug, you need to understand, though, is the x value is equal to 0. So yes, what's your remaining value for y is going to be negative 1. And yes, in this equation, it's just going to be your C. Okay? You just need to understand, just double check. You don't have to show this work, but just say, oh, you put 0, 0, OK, negative 1. All right, got it. So that's how you find your y-intercept. Just plug your x value equals 0. Okay? Now, seriously, 